Hello everyone, I'm Greatlook, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 132 of Factorio with Angels and Bob's Mods, where we are working on brass production. And we got our sink ore done with sorting, we need to process it into process sink. Hmm. This is the first processing we're doing, so... We shall just start a new line for this. And we just require a solid input and output, so this is fine. Process sync. And we're doing process sync here, even though we haven't processed anything else, just because it makes, makes the next couple of recipes a little bit more simple. Mm. So according to this recipe stuff, one machine doing this is enough, and I guess that is just fine then. Though we did make two times the sorting. We might need single for something else at some point. I guess not. So we're doing this processing so we don't have to input molten lead. Then this just becomes easier. And we don't need the sink for anything but sinking gets all process sink. Okay. So we probably probably should scale this up just a bit. As the sink ingots then might become useful. For something else, I think. Uh, this. Yeah, we can smelt it together with tin to get soda. We have already done that though. Bronze though. And gunmetal. Okay. So we do want some amount of ingots at least. Eh, I still want this pin, please. Yes, good. So we have these two done. Then we put it into a chemical furnace. We don't really have any lines with chemical furnaces, but we could just stick it in line with these blast furnaces. It is the same footprint, so that should be easy. this so we need input and output right solid input and output that is and liquid output okay So something like this. Hmm. Request the stuff. And then we need to get rid of sulfur dioxide. I think we have made that somewhere else, like here, where we're just burning it. Hmm. At this point though, shouldn't we be reprocessing it into sulfur, sulfuric acid, sorry? I guess we could, but then we also found that we are producing quite a lot of sulfuric wastewater, for example, over here. And I actually just clarifying it at this point. So we should have plenty of sulfuric acid to go around. So I'm not worried about that. Let's just burn. Mm, where are we going to burn it though? We have no oxygen here, why? 
are we really using all of it? So this is producing oxygen, but it's not running very fast because we are not being able to use all the nitrogen. And then up here, we're making more. How much water are these using? 100 every 4 seconds, so 200 every, well, let's stick with one. 150 every 4 seconds because they have a higher crafting speed. Divided by 4 is what? Eh. Forty-five per second, so it is almost a full one of these. I'm just not sure why we connected these like this. Oh well. Oops, I missed a pipe here. And that does not remove any access. Good. Might as well just do a bunch. Not sure if it's enough still, though. It doesn't look like it. Not even enough for just the steel. So we need to go bigger. It just gives us more crushed stone, so that's fine. Am I out of underground pipe? Yes, I am. Oh no, we've used it all. Let's turn some of this into more underground. It should start banging up in the pipe if we are producing enough, but I don't think we are. But at least now the sink is starting to smelt. And they are working full speed almost. So maybe it will start banging up now. But we, I guess we might as well just make more, right? So let's go here. Good. So sing ingots are done. Then we need to mix them with copper ingots. I wonder if we're producing enough of those to leech off of, but I guess we are. Do we have a common smelting of less? No, sorry, induction furnace area anywhere? I guess not, because we are usually connecting it with a pipe to the casting machines. Or in most cases, the spread casting machines. Mm.
we could just make a new area, I guess. Or we could just build off of this. Sure thing. What do we need in? Just two solids and then one liquid output. Let's make two of these just for fun. Oh, we need mold grass, not the... Wait, do we need sink plate or anything? Wrong one. Silver sink batteries is the only use case for this. But that just means that we probably should make a very, very, very small amount and export from here. So we should make some molten sink, right? And Wait, uh, can we turn it into... We can turn it into sheet coil if we want to. Just takes more zinc and water. Sure, let's do this. In case we at some point need to scale up our silver zinc batteries, then we would make a separate sink production area and we would probably export it as sheet coil, so might as well keep it consistent. So we do this. Good, so let's just start working. Then we need water. And this only produces the amount of water that it needs, nothing more. So let's put this here. And we do that. Good. And then we're back to our, whoops, brass. Oh. So, molten. Bronze, brass. Do we want to mix in this tin? It should lessen the load on the cover at least. It's weird that you can smelt the same ingredients into both brass and gunmetal. I feel like that's your sort of an oversight. Unless I'm missing something about gunmetal, just being smelted at higher temperatures or something like that. Oh well. Mm. Let's do this. Sure. Now, how are we going to get things in here? Like this. Good. 
Apparently we are low on copper, it seemed like. Maybe not. We can just start smelting more. Actually, let's do that as long as we have enough of the resources for it. Do we have enough copper ore? Yeah, we do. 1600 in storage. Also need a few. Is cook pellets better for fuel? That is maybe something we should look into at some point. But for now I'm just gonna ignore it. How are we doing on robots? All of them are working. Let's get some more. We're at 400. So let's go to 550. How are we doing on power with all of these robots recharging? Just fine, I still have filtering that. Is the most consuming thing. All of our pollution is looking fine, maybe with the exception of this. But I think this is just a leftover of something. Maybe. We should really get a radar down. Speaking of radars, we should maybe... Wait, we have one. Okay, never mind. Okay, so we are producing a little bit more copper ingots, that's fine. We are smelting it into press. We don't need us. Whoops. We don't need a solid input output, I mean. All the way around. We need a casting machine then. And just the one input. Apparently we need five of these. You make brass, please. And we don't really need the inputs. So like this, and we have brass, and we shall just export that immediately and get it to the production area. Brass. So what is the hold up now? It is sync because we haven't taken care of this output. Okay. Good, that should be full production again. And 
brass is producing. Good. Let's go and make a depot for this brass then. Mm, anywhere I can go. Let's just go here so we don't block anything. So do we actually need the brass this early? I think it's made here, yes. So this line, do we need it anywhere on the bus is what I'm really asking. Not really. <clears throat> Should we then really make the depot all the way down here, just to pull a belt all the way up? Do we expect to be extending on the bus at any point, making new things that we aren't already? I don't think so. We might expand some of the things we're already making, like circuits and stuff. But I don't think we will be making new things. So the next question is, should we then have a depot up here for stuff that just needs to go into the production area? Hmm. Organization. I mean, we could do that. But maybe we should just keep it simple with this one depot. And we already have the belt going all the way, so let's do that. Hmm. Just wondering if we at some point will encounter a resource that we need more than a belt's worth of where it would be annoying. I mean, we are going to have a lot of different resources that just needs to go up here. Let's actually do it what feels like the right way and just make a new depot. So I guess we will be bringing this further up. This might not be as big then, as it's only the resources we need here that we put in. And then we will have another one up here. Sure thing. Oh, come on. Stop that. Give me manual control, please. Arr. Go there. Thank you, manual. Uh, so. A train depot up here. Are we just going to try and get some provider warehouses as close to the production area as possible or should we actually belt the stuff in still we could also do both start out with just the warehouses and then when we actually find out how much production stuff we need up here then we could build it in and actually pull it all the way through which we've basically made impossible with this. So we could only really get it in here or maybe to here when we remove all of our steel production. Then we might as well just leave it, right? Urgh. So many questions. Also, this will be in the way now. That's a bit annoying. Mm hmm. We could expand on this though. It annoys me a little bit that we would be, well, basically building into the base and removing buildable area from that, but then that just means we're closer, right? And then we don't have to move this, which would be nice. Then we can just leave this for a parking area. Mm, we need a new 
one new blueprint for this stuff. Something like that. Let's turn this the other way around. And I was just thinking about something, just making more warehouses, I guess. Let's get that in. Maybe just put them next to each other. Something like this. Now, we are really just wasting time before we get the brass up here, but I would like to just do this right away. Now, how many depots are we going to need here? Because that will influence where we want our stack up to be. Our stack up that is still facing in the wrong direction, I feel. Mm, we want the stack up to go down in this direction. And we can mirror this. Nope. Oh. Let's just leave some space here for more stations. Whoops. Stop it. I know this is a very long stack up, but this just fits with every station that we make. Whoops. Should be a chain up here, not down here. Good. Now let's go down and continue this up. I do want to take the train down there though. So let's reconnect this. I'm not used to manually traversing this, so I was going a bit slow there. Break right there. Not enough radian. Okay. Can we make larger big electric poles? Not yet. Can we get the research? I feel like this is the only thing I would like, like to use this for. It does take brass though, but... 
Eh. Let's just research it. I would like these segments to get a bit longer. And they are restricted by the length of the big electric poles right now. I think that I should really get the file, the file mod installed in this, as I am spending a lot of time making rails. So that would be a time saver. How about the next tier? Takes titanium. That's not something I'm ready for just yet. Actually, we're done with this, right? So we can remove that. Oh no, I ran out of, out of power. We might extend this rail at some point, so let's make a junction here. Good. And this shall then be press. So you go to press for full cargo and then come to production. Did I not save the name? Or did I just misspell somehow? Was I just blind? Oh, it might be disconnected, I guess. So it would be at the bottom. Okay. Let's have a look at what that is about. Maybe it's just this. Seems like it is just fine now. We do need to fix that. Manual. And there we go. So we can go back down and we can actually just send oops, the train right now. No, it was not fixed. Oh, do we have a problem somewhere else then? Hmm, wait, did I just see the problem maybe? No, this just looked weird. But this can find its way. Uh, apparently something 
Did we just miss a rail there or something? Oh, wow. I'm not sure how that got there. Is that in the blueprint? Yeah, it's hard to see while moving. It's not in this blueprint. It's not in this either. What? Oh well, the train is coming. We do need to add a signal here. Power and fuel go. So we have press and we should have it being picked up. We do. So that should start make, making pipe and that should make our Life so much easier with so much stuff. Good. Now, what is your another small oversight by me? Okay. I actually thought robots would be standing in line to pick more of this stuff up, but I guess we only have like a brass gear wheel production and a uh, pipe production and then maybe when some of that is delivered we have other stuff that requires the bare plate okay good but unfortunately that's all we have time for in this episode so thank you all for joining me and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>